Welcome to this talk about uh, new SQL. As you can see, the title of this, this talk is just a question, and we promise you to answer this question, and also to give you enough information to challenge our answer, if you are not agree. So first, let's uh, introduce ourselves. I'm Marco Alberto Meu, software engineer working, uh, working at uh, ING Belgium. I define myself as a software developer that loves databases. Hello everyone, my name is Alexandro Madalingena. I'm a developer engineer at ING. I mainly work with backend systems and I also like databases. So to get started, first we thought that it would be nice to propose uh, a definition of what a new SQL database is. And this is our definition, of course. Uh, we propose uh, that a new SQL is a class of modern relational database management system trying to provide scalability and performance of NoSQL but with the consistency of traditional database management systems. This is what we think that a new SQL uh, database is. Um, you will note that scalability, performance, and consistency are bolded. This is because we will refer to these terms uh, during the presentation. And here is a list of new SQL solutions. As we can see, it's quite varied. There are even big players on this list, like uh, Google, Amazon, or MySQL. But for this talk, we will only focus on the first two, VolDB and NoDB. And we'll have a look at some of the mechanisms used to improve performance, uh, scalability, and consistency. So let's start with VolDB. And we will first talk about partitioning. What exactly is partitioning? Well, partitioning is a mechanism through which data is split across multiple nodes or partitions. We have a simple example uh, on the slide with two tables, A and B, and their data is being split between partition X and partition Y. In VolDB, partitioning is done based on one column, and that column must be primary key or part of the primary key. So let's see how partitioning improves in terms of performance, scalability, or consistency. As some of you might have guessed, partitioning improves both performance and scalability. Next, we will quickly talk about in-memory storage. As we all know, reading data from disk is quite slow, so a lot of systems use in-memory caching or in-memory storage to provide faster reads from memory. And that's exactly what VolDB does. So in-memory storage improves performance. Next, we will see how VolDB achieves uh, consistency. It does so using a distributed serialized processing mechanism. So it does the serialization at partition level, meaning that transactions that affect the same partition will have to be processed in a serial manner, one after the other. However, if you have transactions that affect different partitions, they can be processed in parallel. So let's see exactly how this works. We have on the right an image with a workload queue containing uh, multiple transactions, and those transactions are color-coded, meaning that transaction one affects data from partition X, transaction two data from partition Y, and so on. We also have transaction four, which is a different color, pink, and it affects data from all three partitions. So let's start. First, transaction one, two, and three are being processed in parallel since they affect data from different partitions. Once they are finished, transaction four is being processed and it affects data from all three partitions. Keep in mind that if you have a lot of transactions similar to transaction four, meaning transactions that affect a large number of partitions, performance might be impacted. So now transaction four has finished and transaction five can be finally processed. By implementing this mechanism, uh, VoltDB also achieves timestamp ordering, meaning that older transactions have higher priority than newer transactions. And Using this mechanism, uh, VolDB does not need any locks, so uh, no performance overhead from locks. And finally, deadlock is not possible in VolDB. So serialized processing, as uh, we saw, ensures consistency, but also improves performance. The last mechanism that we're going to talk about for uh, VolDB is replicating tables. In VolDB, table replication is possible, meaning that tables can be replicated across all partitions for faster reads of uh, data from uh, replicated tables. We have a simple example uh, on the slide with table C being replicated across all three partitions. And um, best uh, candidates for table replications are tables that have a lot of reads and very few and rare writes. So table replication improves performance. One last thing, one last thing to note regarding VolDB is the fact that even though it's 
implement most of the SQL functionality, it does not implement foreign key constraint or auto increment. So if you really need foreign keys to be enforced or auto increment, well, maybe VolDB is not the best choice for you. So now it's time to introduce NuoDB. Uh, why we choose this database? Uh, we choose because it's quite different than VolDB. And there, there are quite representative uh, or meaningful uh, differences between these two databases. First, partitioning. Partitioning is uh, quite a simple mechanism. So you define based on a column a list of ranges or a list of values and the data it's spread across the partitions based on the range or the list of values. Before we saw BoldDB that you just define a column, um, magic happens. So here you have some uh, degree of, uh, of uh, definition. So you define uh, how the data is uh, partitioned. The interesting part of um, um, NuoDB is the partition and partitioning architecture. Um, the partition architecture is, um, the, the key concepts are storage groups, partitioning, partitions itself, files, and the storage management manager service. For example, here we have a distribution of this deployment, a, a possible deployment with two partitions, two storage managers, just grouping, grouped in a storage group, and three files that also belong to the same storage group. This will be a high concurrent uh, setup for two partitions spread, spreading the data across three files. And also you have two storage manager services to persist the data. The storage manager service is the service on charge of persisting the, the data. This configuration can be changed also uh, at runtime, so you don't need to uh, any outgage if you want to change the configuration depending on what you need. This will be another proposal just for a high volume but low concurrency. We think that this way of uh, dealing with partitions improves performance and scalability. In terms of consistency, there is no penalization, indeed, but as long as there is no improvement, we just uh, said we just uh, decided to, to remark uh, performance and scalability. Another difference between uh, NuoDB and BoldDB is the transaction management. Um, NuoDB implements multi-version concurrency control. Don't get confused with model view controller. It's really easy to make a mistake, uh, which is quite easy mechanism. So you have a persisted value, and when you have concurrent transactions, you store multiple versions or additional versions to this um, persisted value. Then, if you have a conflict or you have some concurrency, you decide what's the winning partition, what's the winning transaction uh, for the red or for the right, depending on the timestamp. This also needs high precision of uh, clock synchronization of the nodes, because in case of a conflict, you will have to decide what's the uh, valid value for this uh, transaction. So note the difference. Before we saw a big FIFO spreading the transactions across multiple uh, single-threaded partitions, and now we see that we can have concurrent transactions in parallel, just trying to modify one uh, record. Multiversion concurrency control allows different levels of transaction isolation, so you can uh, start a transaction consistent read or read committed. Also, different drivers support different uh, isolation levels. Transactions can be optimized for read-only or read-on-write, which is also a nice, uh, a nice feature, not available in all new SQL databases. Um, Multiversion concurrency control means that readers do not block writers. That's one of the, the, the main uh, features of this way of dealing with transaction management. Writers do not block readers, but of course, deadlock is possible. So before deadlock was not possible, now deadlock is possible. This slide is to take away. I'm not going to, to dig into the details of this slide. We will share the presentation you can download. This is a deadlock in NuoDB. Okay, you can try to reproduce it yourself, or you can just check it, it check it in the in this slide. The important thing to note: the concept is deadlock is not bad itself. It's just of a con it's just a consequence of a powerful transaction management. Eh? If you work in a single-threaded uh, programming language, of course you won't have deadlocks, but you won't have the capacity to program to work in programming parallel to do pra parallel programming. If you work in a multi-threaded language, you will have to deal with race conditions, deadlocks, but you have the possibility to work with some degree of parallelism. Last uh, feature of um, NuoDB is that allows unique uh, secondary indexes, which is something that not all uh, new SQL databases allow. This is another degree of uh, consistency that you can get from the database. And we think that this multiversion concurrency control and consistency itself increase performance and scalability. Uh, sorry. Now, <laughs> multi-version concurrency control increases uh, consistency and scalability, but uh, it has a penalized a bit the performance because 
of course, maybe it's not that performant as BoldDB for massive inserts of data. If you have to uh, store a, multi -version, a, a new version of every row that you want to, to insert. So we saw some really cool uh, implementations of new SQL, but like everything, they have some uh, limitations. First of all, they might be overkill for some applications. New SQL solutions are complex distributed systems, so if you don't need the majority of their features, maybe have a look at traditional relational databases or uh, NoSQL solutions. Also, we found, and you saw it right now, there is a lack of standards, so there are a lot of multiple new SQL databases that are quite different, so if you choose a database for your application, you have to make sure that really fits your application. And if you want to change this database to another database, it's, it can be painful. So this is happening not only with the database that we've presented, but also with uh, more new SQL databases uh, in the market available. And uh, strategies can be even different in data replication. We didn't take data replication because we took it for granted, okay? So data replication is possible in a new SQL system. But the strategy is, or strategies are different between uh, multiple systems. Another limitation of new SQL systems is the fact that they have a small community. So uh, if you get stuck on something or you have some questions, you'll have a harder time finding answers on Stack Overflow. We can easily see this by doing a Google search. Well, the results that we see here are estimates, so maybe if you do a Google search yourself, you will find slightly different results, but just to get an estimation. For NewSQL, we have uh, over 5 million results. For NoSQL, over 36 million results. And for SQL, it's not even a contest, almost 600 million results. Another limitation that we found when we did uh, this uh, research is the lack of documentation. So, for example, how, how BoldDB manages the partitions concretely? We don't know. We don't know. At least in the official documentation, we couldn't find it. Um, it's consi consistent hashing. We don't know the mechanism that it's used uh, in the background. For example, how NuoDB uh, does, does um, persist the data in detail? We don't know. For example, Oracle, uh, you, if you love databases, you know that there are blocks, PCT free, PCT use, row chaining, a lot of information that allows you to, to define a good schema and a define or design a well performant schema. Okay? This kind of documentation sometimes is difficult to find in new SQL databases. So when should you use new SQL? In our opinion, the best use case for using new SQL would be when you would have large amounts of data high volume of transactions per second, and your model would be a good match for the relational model, meaning low impedance mismatch with tables, columns, and rows. Okay, so this is a quickie. We're approaching at the end, uh, and it's now time to answer the question. We will provide the answer, of course, but who thinks that new SQL is the holy grail of databases? Please raise your hand. Okay, one, okay, two. Who thinks that new SQL is not the holy grail of databases, please raise your hand. Okay, quite a few more hands. Okay, this is our answer. So it's, we think that it's no, uh, the answer in, we think that it's no, of course you can challenge, eh? so this is not, uh, we are not willing here to impose anything. Eh? But we think that it's, uh, it's not the holy grail of databases. Now last, uh, this is the last slide. It's time to introduce the CAP theorem. It's fair to, to do it in a distributed um, database management system. CAP theorem stands for consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. And CAP theorem says that you cannot get all of them and you have to sacrifice one. New SQL claims to be CP, so they sacrifice the availability to be partition tolerant. So, so far, we don't have any distributed system available that it's breaking this theorem, so maybe in some future, impossible is nothing, but so far CAP theorem is still valid for new SQL databases. So that's why also, that's another reason why we think that uh, they are not the, the holy grail of databases. Last but not least, you can also get some degree of consistency playing with majorities in NoSQL. So if you are, if you are already running a NoSQL database and you just want some consistency, you can play with majorities in a cluster and you can get some uh, degree of consistency. So you, maybe you can get what you need with your your mature uh, NoSQL database. So this was our presentations, a presentation. <laughs> if you have any questions or just want to say hi, you'll find us at the ING booth afterwards. Enjoy your conference.